Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today, we're taking a quick look at the Platinum Edition McFarlane Collector's Edition The Dark Knight Returns Batman. If you've seen the regular release, it's supposed to be a battle damage version with the blue costume, but this Platinum Edition, oh well... I originally thought it was just a clean dark blue version. Turns out, it's a cell shaded variant. Let's dive in. Now, I know a lot of us McFarlane DC Multiverse collectors aren't big fans of cell shading. The previous attempts they made with cell shading didn't quite work out, but honestly, this figure might be the exception. Let's break it down and you can decide for yourself if it's a hit or a miss. Straight out of the box, I had my doubts. My initial thought was, so no, here we go again. Another cell shading disaster. But after handling it in person, I have to say it works better than I expected. McPerlin painted over a blue plastic base with gray, black, and yellow accents and it actually resulted in a pretty solid finish. The globes and boots are painted in a different shade of blue and they look great too. The lighter blue highlights on the cowl and front shoulder section of the cape are also really well done. However, there is no cell shading nor paint on the back of the figure, which is a bit of a letdown. It feels like a cost cutting move and with this being a higher price McPerlin collector's edition figure, I really expected a more consistent paint job throughout. Putting that aside, I have to admit I ended up liking the cell shading a lot. It really captures that classic comic book vibe like Batman's emerging from the shadows. Another thing I appreciated is that the alternate Anmas head doesn't have any cell shading, which gives us some flexibility. You can swap this head onto the original black costume Batman from the collectible Dark Horse Wave without it looking out of place. In terms of accessories, he comes with a lamp post, which adds a nice touch for your diorama displays. There are also alternate hands and batarangs attached to a rope, which are the same accessories from the Dark Horse collectible wave. Overall, this figure might not be for everyone, but for me, it's the first cell shaded McFarlane figure I can genuinely say I like. At first, I thought they should have included a cloth cape, but on second thought, it probably wouldn't match the cell shaded style they're going for. If you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want more quick action figure reviews. Let's get collecting.